clothing, a box of keepsakes, and this baby book. All things the Indianola family of five are treasuring after a fire took their home from them on Tuesday. Violent flames ripping through this mobile home's walls, rising outside of its windows. Indianola firefighters quick to arrive, working down the fire. This is the front door at one time. Until all that now exists is the remnants of this home. This is the boys' room. This is the room that the fire started in. What's left of the home for Christina are her memories, which now include the fire that could have taken everything from her. If this had happened at midnight instead of 7 o'clock in the evening, we would probably all be dead. All being her husband and their three kids, all of them in the house Tuesday when she says electrical wiring caused a fire. I looked back and the flame was, it had started on the floor and the flame was like coming up the hall like a big hand. The family of five managed to escape and now, days later, they've returned to pick up the pieces. The boys lost all their toys, all their clothes, their beds. But the middle sword family is still finding some keepsakes, piling them up as they prepare for what comes next. We met with the Red Cross and just, we've had our families just been awesome and, and our neighbors, everybody has just given us stuff. Survive! <laughs> as they sift through the debris, finding old keepsakes and once treasured things now destroyed, the middle swords remain hopeful because they're still together. The only thing that mattered in that trailer the five things that mattered are out. In Indianola, Kayla James, KCI 8 News, Iowa's news leader. The Middlesbrough family says they hope to be in their new home by this time next week.